Hello. One of the things I like to do is keep reserves when I'm growing in buckets. So if I have uh, a bucket of wild strawberries, which I do have, and which will be part of my square foot bucket garden that I'll put together when the weather picks up, I like to keep some wild strawberries just in case and there's yogurt pots so this is my reserve if the main plant in the bucket doesn't make it this will be potted up into the bucket this is some chives we also have a bucket of chives in the square foot bucket garden and these are the reserves in this yogurt pot We have some mint in the square foot bucket garden. This is the reserves in the yogurt pot. We're also growing onions in the square foot bucket garden. This is a red skin in this yogurt pot. And we've got some garlic growing in this yogurt pot. We also have some garlic in the square foot bucket garden. Um, but the more I look at this arrangement, the more it looks to me like a mini square foot garden. In fact, it looks to me like a yogurt pot square foot garden. What do you think? Obviously I've got nothing in these just yet because it's a bit early to be starting seeds off uh, but I know there are other herbs and vegetables that I could grow in these yoghurt pots and maybe never take them out I mean, for example this onion okay what if I never took that out of this yoghurt pot what if I just let it grow on to maturity you think you get an onion hey check this out this is an onion uh, that was in a yoghurt pot I think it was destined uh, to be potted up, but it never got potted up. Check this out. Okay, so as you can see, um, you can grow vegetables in these small five inch yogurt pots. And what I've got here, uh, it's, as it so happens, is a shallot. Now, how many shallots do you reckon you can get off that? How many? Well, I've grown these in buckets before, and I've, I've had five, six, seven shallots off just one shallot. So suppose we do this, and this is how easy it is. Yogurt pot, garden soil, shallot planted. How easy was that? Now imagine if that turns into four, five, six shallots. Hi, Rich. All right. Yeah. Okay. So if you've got some odd shallots uh, at home, you might want to give this a shot. Um, you might want to have a go at this. And the other thing I'm thinking while I'm doing this is that a child uh, might love to do something like this. A grandchild or your own child might love to do something like this. And it doesn't have to be vegetables or herbs. It can be flowers, can't it? Wouldn't that look lovely? A square foot yoghurt pot garden, all of their own. And let's face it, when you water this, you can probably water it in a one-air. It's 
put a watering can right across the top of the lot. It's done. Low maintenance. What do you think? Are you going to give this a go? Um, now I'm not too sure what will go in here. But I do have some vegetable seeds germinating indoors on tissue. Um, Korabai is one vegetable I think I might try and grow in here. I've never grown that before. Um, and I've got some radish that I'll probably try in here. Um, who knows what I'm going to try, I don't know. I don't know. But the next time you watch a video about square foot yoghurt pot gardens, these pots, hopefully, I'll have something in them. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it perhaps inspires you to maybe have a shot at this. Why not? It doesn't take up much room. Most of this material is recycled, recycled, recycled. Soil out the garden, recycled. Yeah, give it a go. That's how it goes. Let me know what you think. Hope you've enjoyed this video. This is Homegrown Veg, signing out.